My name is Sarah McCausland, Communication Manager at Berks County Community Foundation. And today I'm here at the Chalk It Up event located at the Penn Street Market at Penn and 8th Street, which was organized by the Berks Agricultural Resource Network. Good afternoon, my name is Ed Terrell and we're here today at the Penn Street Farmers Market located at 8th and Penn Street. We're here today with our sidewalk art contest sponsored by the Farmers Market and hosted by Sheila Miller from the Agriculture Department. We have two judges here, myself Ed Terrell and Mr. Donald Thomas. And later on you can talk to Donald. Donald? How you doing? Great. It's an exciting day here to see people come out and make chalk talk. The colors are really great. If you ask me what the color scheme is going to be for the day when the chalk is blue, because everything seems to be vibrant and alive and, and has that outdoor look to it. And if you go take a look at some of the art, you're really going to enjoy it. I know I'm really just, just astounded for what talent can do with a piece of paper and what comes off the ground. My name is Juan Ruiz, and uh, this event that we have going on is uh, Chalk It Up. We're all supposed to do a chalk pastel drawing and uh, we get prizes at the end. Juan, how did you get involved in the event today? Um, I learned about this uh, contest through uh, Ed Terrell and uh, he pretty much put me on to this and I um, thought it was a cool idea so I came through and joined. And I'm today standing with Sheila Miller at the Penn Street Market, who's responsible for this fabulous event. Sheila, tell us why we're here today. Well, Chalk It Up was an idea that I came up with to try and get more people to experience the Penn Street Farmer's Market, as well as to enjoy a day outside and to get some fresh air and some uh, great taste in art. And uh, we can also help to try to promote some of the talent that we have here in the city of Reading coming here, displaying their artwork, and getting the spectators to actually weigh in and vote for their favorites. So it's a great way to get people to come together here in this community to share the talents, to share good food, and to share a nice afternoon on a Friday. What was your inspiration for holding this event? Well, I guess my inspiration was the fact that uh, I wanted to find a, a project that would bring people of all walks of life together and so my rural farmers and urban artists at the Goggle Works and at various universities uh, were bringing them all together and giving people something pleasant to look at here in the city of Reading. So uh, my inspiration, I can't say it was my, all my own ideas, uh, but I've gotten a lot of help from the Sovereign Center and from the Community Foundation with a grant and I'm just so thankful of all the partners that have helped make this a good start. I can't say it's an absolute worldwide success, but we'll build on it next year. I'm not technologically savvy at all. Yeah, it looks like. I love it. 